album that everybody thought wasn't gonna drop, drop. Meg the Stallion. You so know that's, what? I ain't, that's, with the anticipation, I didn't even listen to Meg album. Um, and she's one of the female rappers that I would actually take time to listen to her album. Because I think not only does Meg make bangers, Meg can kind of really rap for what nah, she does. Nah, she raps. She rap for what she do. She To me, she's like, uh, not really comparing them, but she rem- she puts me in the mind of the baby. Yeah. Because they both kind of stay in their lane. Yeah. Like, musically. And they're good for what they and, do. And, and, it's, and like, it works. They, they're, they're like, they can rap their do. ass off. They know their sound. Mm-hmm. And they stick to their sound. Yep. So it's like. And I'm cool with that. So I'm going to take that. And Meg, like Meg drop bangers. <laughs> Yeah, she so I'm gonna take the time to listen to it, but and yeah. she looked like she looked with the yeah, talent that she right. got. <laughs> like, so it ain't it ain't like she a lot of these other um, bad whatever because you know they all all their name is bad something now. Barbies, yeah, or something Barbie, or, or is either bad something or something Barbie. But Nicki Minaj really do got a lot of sons out here. Yeah, that's wild. But Megan ain't one of them. Facts. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the time to listen to it. But yeah, with that bullshit, the I mean, contract the, situation that jumped off. Yeah. I mean, so apparently she wanted, she got a deal. So her deal was label gets 60, she gets 40. What was it? They got, she got half of her masters. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a little kinks in the deal, but honestly, from what, knowing about the little, what I know little about independent deals, it wasn't a bad deal. Nah. They probably just didn't expect I mean, her to blow up the way from, she From did. what it sounds like, because nobody actually knows the actual terms of the deal. Yeah, it sounds like she just it. signed a fucking 360 deal. Yeah. Like every other new artist is signing now because these labels don't trust you niggas yeah. to. And you blow up, you want to re- renegotiate. She fortunately was able to get under Rockefeller management, which, yeah. you know, Jay got a lot of smart people working for him. So they trying to get her money right. And they trying to get some money too. That's it. So everybody trying to get some money, so it's time to renegotiate. But I don't know what went so left with the renegotiation. Yeah. So, so let me see. I'm trying to find the um, the the actual yeah, my mama, part. My mama used to answer all my emails. Right here. My mama was my manager. My mama was my rock. My mama was everything. It was just me and my mama rolling around this hoe, doing making the stallion shit. So then we met. T. Ferris. And T. Ferris was like, okay, uh, I have this label and I really want you to sign to it. It's an independent label. We just starting up. Me and my mama love T. Ferris. Boom. Signed to 1501. Signed to 1501. Now, 1501 had a bunch of artists. So, boom, Sonic 1501, 1501, very new. 1501, got niggas on the label already. They they been, they been had that. But when I got on the label, now, you know, now I'm a part of the label. So, they didn't have nobody that was really like, you know, on a large scale yet. So... My mama was managing me. We was doing our own thing. We We was doing our own thing. So I started getting more popping, more popping. Then I signed with 300. That's another independent label. She keep getting money. Okay. It's my second independent (laughs) label. So when I signed with 300. Nobody even talking about that, Chief. Everybody's still a big happy family. Everybody happy. Yes. Everybody good. Oh shit! What they said about my mama? All right. See that this this is why I hate. Like, I mean, I'm still on unedited. On but even when I first started on 15 one, I was still putting shit out through like little BDS distributors. So when I got with 300, it just happened to go to like. All right. a She's dragging it out. I'm trying to. I got real lawyers. And they was like, do you know that this is in your contract? And I was like, oh, damn, that's crazy. No, I didn't know. So I'm not mad at 1501. I wasn't upset because I'm thinking in my head, oh, well, everybody cool. We all family. It's cool. It's nice. Business. Let me just ask some niggas to renegotiate my contract. (laughs) Soon as I said, I 
I want to renegotiate my contract, everything went left. Like, it just all went bad. It all went left. So now they're telling the bitch that the, she can't drop no music. And she pretty much goes on about the same, like, yeah. little thing. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not mad at her. I mean, what do you... Business is business. That's it. Like, at the end of the day, no matter... You should be able to renegotiate, but I, from what I understand, they didn't want to renegotiate because she owed them the money. Yeah, like she like, had stopped paying them, like two hundred thousand yeah, or something like, like that. You stop paying me, why am I going to renegotiate if you already owe me? Give me the money you owe me, then we can talk about renegotiating. Yeah. Um. So now, nah, uh, dude responded, uh, Carl Crawford. I guess he's like the CEO of the label or whatever. And um, he said that. They get 60% of the recording income and she get 40. And they receive 30% of her income from touring and merchandising. He also added that Megan Thee Stallion has retained part of her masters in the deal so that her allegations of him being greedy are off base. Um, then he said, and I quote. And I quote. <laughs> and I quote. Let's talk about your contract. It's a great contract for a first time, he said. What contract gives part of their masters and 40% royalties and all that kind of stuff? Ask Jay-Z to pull one of his artist's first contracts, and let's compare it to what Megan got. I guarantee they won't ever show you that. Which is probably a fact. We all remember raping you records. <laughs> we'll be raping you, raping you, raping yeah. you. <sighs> Nigga. And he said, their real plan was to get you out of my contract so they can sign you to Rock Nation. Which That's all they want to do. And I, 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 I believe there's some truth to that. I don't doubt that at all. But, I mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah. Megan is on, on fire. Like, be why smart the on fuck? everybody's behalf. Yeah, like, why that'd the be fuck smart wouldn't on they? Megan's, that'd be yeah. smart on Rock Nation. And realistically, if they could really work it out, the nigga could probably come up off a lot of money from Rock Nation. They'll pay him yeah. to let her out that contract. That two hundred thousand dollars that he weren't ain't nothing compared to what they'll, they'll give probably him. give her a meal. Like nigga, they'll give him. That's, that's what I, I meant. Him. Yeah. They'll, they'll, give they'll him probably two give him like to a, let her yeah. to let her out that contract because Meg. They know they're going to make two years. Is going to make forty fifty. <laughs> he's going to be retarded. So you can have this two million dollars. Let her out of the contract. Yeah. Yeah, he said. But that's uh, also why he don't want to let her go because he also. Oh, he her. know yeah, he, he know where she about to go. Smart. He said she signed with Rock Nation in August and decided she didn't want to pay me no more. They're using that as a strong arm tactic that I can renegotiate, so I can so that I can renegotiate the contract. They're holding the money and they haven't paid me since August. She's done over fifteen shows. Y'all do the math. She gets a hundred thousand a show. God damn, Megan is. A hundred thousand a show? She worth it. I mean, of course, but a lot of motherfuckers that that came in with her ain't getting that. She's, yeah, yeah. But I mean, what they say, you don't get what you owed, you get what you negotiate. So, hundred thousand a show. I mean, that's and <laughs> the baby probably getting that too. Like I said, when you on yeah. fire like that, that's when you get it. Yeah, he says she owed me, and I haven't recouped almost two million dollars that we spent on her building her up, so that Rock Nation would want to come around. See, Where was know. Rock Nation when we was grinding and riding around in them back streets? Rock Nation was nowhere to be found. Soon as we spent our money, blow it up. Now all of a sudden, these strangers and people you just met, they introduce you to Beyonce, and now we the devil. We were the angels sent. We were just the angels that that were sent from the sky. Now we're the devils because Jay Z saved you. You're so fake, and that was and he left it there. Sounds like Illuminati talk. <laughs> like, there you go, conspiracy theory. Um, so let's get into that. I'm no, just fucking. Not, I'm just we're, we're not <laughs> this doing that shit. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, we gonna have the Illuminati conspiracy talk one day. I believe in the Illuminati, and I hope that they're out there. And if they are, please. I don't understand why. What? What's? What's so bad about us that y'all niggas can't come? How let me be? Send me an application, an email, something. Facebook message, just something. Like I'm gonna sign up. My soul got a price, and it sounds like the Illuminati price. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure they can afford it. First of all, where did these niggas get $2 million to put behind me? Maybe it wasn't $2 million they started out with. Maybe that's what they are. No, I'm, like, that face was where did they get I mean, I million. get it, but that's <laughs> like, even still, like, that's a lot of money. I ain't shit. trying to, you know, niggas know what that $2 million Yeah, I get it, but that's a lot. Of, like, even still, that's a lot of money in the streets, B. Niggas know where the fuck $2 that $2 million, million is, is, is a you, lot of money. Anyway. And you forget that um, Jay Prince is invested in this shit, too. So there we go. So he's he's invested okay, in. So there, goes, there, go, there it goes. That makes a lot more sense. 
I was supposed to say, because even if you get your two mil out of the streets, nigga, two million dollars. Which is why even Jay Prince dropped a, um, he dropped a little. If you getting two million dollars in the streets, the feds is definitely watching you. Yeah, but they may not bother you, but the feds are definitely they have yeah. notice of you. They've yeah. they've come. Even if you. it ain't two million dollars illegal, you can legally be getting two. Yeah, million. legally getting two million dollars. <laughs> the feds, the IRS still, is watching you. Be <laughs> they still gonna be on somebody's your watching. So, but yeah, I mean, Jay Prince said he he was quick to say, "Don't put my name in that bullshit." Yeah, apparently they went to court and affidavits to sign and all types of shit. So. Jay Prince was quick to say. Hey, one thing movie. about it, nigga, don't play with Jay Prince. You heard what he, you heard what he told Pusha. You, I, you, you, you play with pigs. What did he say? He said you, some crazy you, shit. You, 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 you play with pigs, you gonna get muddy or yeah, something. Some shit. Some, some, shit. Some, wild. some wild shit that niggas yeah. knew what the fuck it meant. Yeah, but you know, old niggas always make it. Old people love to make up fucking sayings. Yeah, that sound good. It's like, <laughs> all right, old nigga, nigga, I don't chew my cabbage yeah. twice. All right, old nigga, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not gonna disrespect. I know Jay Prince. No, nah, yeah, legend, we know Jay Prince a real but, nigga. Like, but in real life, I he doesn't, and he maybe he doesn't have to because I know a lot of niggas who don't yeah. give you that feel. No, but, but at this point, even Jay Prince whole master. You're not P, like be, you're these not, niggas, Jay Prince in a, in a battle against Rock Nation is not gonna win. Yeah, and and at the same time, it's like, no, we know that these niggas got street ties, but they're not gonna jeopardize millions right, of this, dollars. Yeah, not this money. They're not gonna jeopardize no no millions of dollars to get a nigga and hit like that shit's stupid as fuck now at this point. You can work out some shit where you let her out her deal and you get ten percent of her yeah. shit still, even if she signed. We're like, y'all just cut us a check. Yeah, that's why even when all that Takashi shit was going on with Jay Prince, I was like, yo, Takashi's alive because them niggas know that he not worth their money. Yeah, because if they wanted, if niggas wanted Takashi hit, not because it's them. I'm not saying Jay Prince and like just period. A he nigga got touched. Like, yeah, everybody can get touched. Dog, yeah. you get a young nigga to t- touch him for about a thousand dollars. Or some wild shit. Like, yo, nigga, I give you this thousand dollars, you run up on the nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's costs a little more than a grand, but. Like, these niggas, not for these little young dumb niggas. But let me stop. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't put no young <laughs> I wouldn't put no young nigga no shit like that. He's gonna tell on you. Yeah, exactly. Nah, not for a grand. <laughs> young niggas yeah, definitely. For a grand, he's definitely gonna tell on you. <laughs> young niggas go tell on well, you. Especially when he find out what you came up on, he's definitely telling on you. <laughs> niggas, de- he's, telling. he's telling. But yeah, so, I mean. But nah, so yeah, Jay Prince pretty much said, yo, yeah, pretty much you said, keep my name out the shit. I ain't got, you know what I mean? Well, his name is in it. So we'll see how that shit go in court. What I, you know what, what I real life suggest about the situation and what a lot of people don't do when they involved in legal court cases like Meg got going on, or even when you involved in street shit. Little petty shit like shut the fuck up. Shut the f- yo. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Shut the fuck up, yo. You have lawyers for a fucking reason. Shut the fuck up, yo. All you have to do is shut up. But if you notice, dog, Meg has done more interviews. You talk yourself into so many losses, yo. Dog, and at the same time, it's kind of like maybe this should a publicity stunt. Dog, Meg has done more interviews. After all this shit happened, and I've ever seen her do since she fucking been signed. And if it is, it's a good one. Smart as fuck. It's a good one. <laughs> this shit, because it shit worked. Is fucking genius. You talk, you talk about her two days before her album come out, and the album dropped, and her album was probably like I said, I haven't listened, but I'm assuming her album is yeah. probably fire. Because she said they won't let her release music, and she said that this is this, well, they, they went to court. This not actually her album. No, they went to court, and then the judge put a restraining order. Some sort of restraining order out. Yeah, where she has to. Where she was able to to release the music, which. But she said this isn't her official album. She said this was like some loose songs. It's got to be her official album. No, you know what? Every rapper say that. But when you say that though, it made me wild because it it was wild to hear. Because they were like, she hasn't put out an album yet, and I thought Tina Snow was an album. Mm -hmm. I did too because it was on Apple Music and all that shit. Every song from Tina Snow was a banger. Yeah, I really thought Tina Snow was an album, and apparently it wasn't. It was just an EP. Yeah. Which sucks for her because if it was an album, it definitely would have counted towards where she owed them people, and yeah. I think people could have made a lot more money out of the situation. Yeah, and I think that might have been part of it too, because she probably put that shit out as a mixtape, but she probably put that shit out on like CD Baby or something. That shit wild. And linked that shit straight to her that bank account. Like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I, that's why I said I, I led with that shut the fuck up shit, because that's what everybody in that situation needs to do. Yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's it. And the crazy thing, Let the all these young out. these young artists, the ones who don't want to be independent, y'all got to realize, like, 
this um you gotta know what the fuck you signing. Just cause that shiny piece of paper right in your face and you looking at this shit like, oh, this shit about to change my life. Like it might, but it ain't always gonna change your life for the better. Get a it, lawyer. Like if they really wanna if they really wanna sign you, you can they'll they'll give you a day or two. That's the good sound advice. Right. Yeah, I mean, I know realistically yeah, it's not going like it, cuz it's been happening over I'm not gonna throughout tell you years, you know what I'm saying? To not sign it because if you don't sign the deal, you <laughs> no. are it's not that you you are gambling on yourself a little well, bit. Well, yeah, but I'm not just, saying to not sign it. I'm saying know, know what that, yeah, know, know what the fuck yeah, you yeah. signing. You know what I'm saying? Cuz if so you want to change that shit down the road, just know it's going to be some battles with. Yeah, like it may or may not. You may be able to renegotiate. <laughs> Put it into into the original contract that renegotiations can come depending on certain stipulations. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So you're right. I, I agree with you 100. Yeah, that's what I meant. No, know no, what no, you sign. I'm not saying to not sign it, but even all right. So even us, like we we kind of savvy with a lot of shit. We kind of knowledgeable on a lot of shit. But if a nigga throw a contract in our face, it's probably gonna be some terms and shit in there that we never heard before. We gonna know one. I'm gonna yeah. want to know what the fuck this means. I do my Google's, be yeah, yeah. Google's a big asset. Yeah, but I mean. Niggas, them record labels ain't let you Google right there in the, in the office. I'm sure. But that's what I'm saying. If they want to sign you, they'll give you a chance to go see a lawyer. Especially if, if they don't feel like the contract is fucked up. Yeah. If they feel like the contract is fair or they feel like it's legit, yeah, go see a lawyer. You got to, we'll give you two days. You don't come back in two days, then it is what it is after that. So yeah. we'll give you 48 hours, go see a lawyer, figure out what you need to figure out. And either you're going to sign the shit or not. We ain't going to chase you. And then that's it. But these motherfuckers need to know what they signing. You are fucked up too. I'm watching this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching phone. this shit too. <laughs> I completely forgot it was on the TV. I haven't even turned to the TV. Yeah. I'm watching it on my phone and I'm, I'm mad about this. Yeah, Lakers. Lakers and the Clippers are playing. Uh, Lakers is up. My my bad gambling weekend apparently is going to continue because. <laughs> Lakers is up. They're definitely but up. yeah, um, Bye. but nah, so yeah, to, to all the young artists, man, just, just know what the fuck you signing. Have the right people in your corner. Um, That's a fact. And just fucking be rational. Think before you do stupid shit. Take your time. And but shut I mean, the fuck up. And learn to shut know, the but you know, Learn when to shut the fuck up. You definitely got to learn when to shut the fuck up. But even in situations <laughs> like that, like Meg, even if she would have read the deal, she probably would have took it anyway just because it, it doesn't seem like a bad deal. And everybody doesn't expect themselves to blow up the way that yeah. they're going to blow up. Well, you you may expect certain things for yourself. You yeah. May have high well, I mean, but you may you may cross that threshold. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I won't speak in the men specifically because yeah. I seen that she said. Um, I think it was the Breakfast Club. It's one of them fucking. They all fucking upload at the same time. Breakfast Club, Hot ninety seven, Angie Martinez. They all. You know what I'm saying, but mm. she said that she read it, and I guess it was just at the time when it she was good when, when she was nobody. Obviously, yeah. nigga, forty percent. Like, yeah, let me get that. You know what I'm saying, but. I guess now that she is who she is, and she's with Rock Nation. She just she didn't want out of the contract. Yeah, she wanted. To re- she just wanted to renegotiate. So that's what I'm trying to figure out where where the, the disconnect con- yeah, was. Disconnect is because they should be willing to renegotiate and still be able to get money out of the situation. Because I think so. From from what I was reading and shit, I think that he feels like if they were to renegotiate the shit, that she's gonna. Because, you know, they have to void the old one to renegotiate. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The old shit is void once you renegotiate. Yeah. So they think they... that. So he believes that she's trying to void the old shit and then say, fuck it, and go sign a Rock Nation. Yeah. That's what he believes, which... It's probably the case. It's, it's, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, after all this shit now, I'm more than certain that she's not going to stay over there. Oh, of course not. <laughs> like... I'm more than certain she's not gonna stay there now, like with all the shit that's and going I on. Get, I mean, that's what she's gonna do. I don't know how many albums she owed them people, but, but I would give her some bullshit and leave. So yeah, just just fulfill your album obligations and some, some throwaway songs that I got on yeah. stash. But, but then at the same album. time, like that might fuck your career up. You throw some throwaway and then some bullshit throwaway songs. You can tell the people throw away. I think Wayne did some shit like that. Maybe but he just, never warned well, niggas may, that it was may, throwaway may, songs. Though, album, so. It just seemed like it. <laughs> I knew it was a throwaway. <laughs> so Wayne gave us like four albums of throwaway songs, like over time, like over these last couple. His last shit was alright though. Yeah, but all right. yeah, so man. Music, right? Um, 